Hello everyone and today I want to show you how to install shaders into the current versions of Technic, the Technic launcher. Um, this might work for other mods as well but I've only used this for Feed the Beast at the moment and maybe it will work for everything else. So I'll just get down to it. This is the folder. In the description you will find this folder at a website this website download the file which is not going to download there we go this I'll be fine shoot a score took me a hell of a fucking long time to get these two files I'll tell you that it did <laughs> Okay, so once you go to the site and you download the link, you've got the two files in this folder here. Okay? Now, you're going to go to My Documents. You're going to go to App Data, Roaming. And you want to go on your Technic. It probably is the same for Minecraft as well if you were installing this on the normal Minecraft, but. I don't have the normal Minecraft installed, do I? <laughs> so we'll go to Dot Technic, go into Mod Packs, go into Infinity Evolved, Feed the Beast, and I'm assuming you would just do that for normal tech it whatsoever. Go into Mods, it's down here, and you will paste these two files into there into the mods mods director directory I've already got them installed as you can see opti where is it optifine and share the mod cool and, and if for some reason something happens to the file these are the names of the files which you can find. I actually found it really hard to get these files. I had to download this file off a Russian site. Yeah. <laughs> there is a website over there, um, GSLS or something, and they're asking you to go for install uh, a sort of EXE. Don't do it. It's actually a shell and it will fuck up your system. This is a brand new laptop of mine, and I just did that today, and this is what happened. My start menu's fucked. <laughs> See, you know how you usually get the windows and everything, like you get like the shitty little interface and that. I can't get it because it, the file corrupted my um, core files, shall we say? So just a little bit of warning about that, but just put these in the mod folder. You will then go and create a new file called Shader Packs. Create a new fold <coughs> create a new folder called Shader Packs. No spaces, no capitals, just shader packs like this. And you will put your shader files into that as a zip. The zip file you see here from SUS. And I've got my resource packs. I've got, I'm using R3D and I'm using R3D Smooth, you get two types and I find Smooth better. And anyway, if we were to launch this right now, blip. See, I had a little bit of trouble here. I was downloading the uh, mods which I thought would work and they didn't work. Okay, so we're waiting for this to load up. This is probably going to take about three minutes. Yeah. If you do like these videos, please like, subscribe, and comment if you want. Um, actually, back since I got my new laptop, so hopefully I get a few more subscribers again. <coughs> I don't know what videos to do though. It's a brand new system. I can do practically anything on this computer now, so. I've been thinking about doing more armor videos for you guys, but. 
it's not really I don't think it's really working out I think I'll have to go on foot like play as a soldier or something while I'm doing that because as like spectator mode the camera is just too fast and it makes everything all blurry and I know that people don't actually like that so I'll probably I'll have to think about something else I was thinking about doing a Minecraft series with a friend maybe don't know just yet but if you subscribe or whatever you can actually see that more in the future or if you're watching this in the past okay so it's nearly loaded up and if you imp if you put in the wrong opti opti for what, what the fuck's it called what the fuck's it called optifine isn't it yeah and shader, um, shader mod it will just crash and start up like it will get up to here and it will crash and this is in 2017 by the way if you're in 2019 2020 or whatever and you try to do this method it might not work it might work it depends you would only have to see how it goes yourself and you'd have to take it along okay so it's loaded up get this now we're going to options Shaders. Shaders is right there. You select it, click it, done. Okay. Resource packs. Choose one. I chose I'm choose I'm using this move. Done. I shouldn't have clicked that actually. <laughs> oh, I'm gonna have to wait here for a while. Terrible mistake. Hey Scaria, what the fuck are you doing? This is meant to be a tutorial. Well, I do have to warn you about this pack I'm using. It's at night time. It's really dark. You can't see a monkey's uncle. It's just so dark, which is kind of one of the downsides. But it's pretty cool in its own way. <clears throat> so I do hope this works for everyone. Okay, so back out. Single player, start a new world because the world I was on was actually at night time, so create a new world. Da da da. I was thinking about playing the Halo Wars 2 game. Might record some episodes of that in the future. Don't know, so if anyone wants to tell me if I should, let me know. I mostly know from my home world videos, but yeah. Shutting down until server. What? We're back just had to do something there and this is the result I load up a bit shit is all up and running I don't know how fucking waypoints work in this game <laughs> but this is the result sun and I died twice over there on the last game because it got so dark. It's a bit laggy. Even with a GTX 1080, the water looks absolutely fantastic with this uh, texture pack, though. Looks amazing. There are some. Uh, uh, since I'm playing a mod. You will notice that all the texture packs do not account for that mod. So, like these. Like this, here will be part of the mod. And they're not as textured as perfectly as they could be. And that's because of the mod. But the default, like limestone, stone, whatever, and coal and dirt since they're in the base game and can be textured for from the very start will be pretty good 
Um, the animals too. Water looks absolutely fantastic, as I've already said. The lava looks fantastic as well. And I hope this, I hope this has helped. Um, subscribe, comment, like, dislike, and see you again. See you later.